Hey boss family, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well with you and yours. Today, we are gonna be making some cheesy baked macaroni and cheese. And for this recipe, I will be using three pounds of elbow macaroni noodles. You guys can use any type of noodles that you like, but this is what I had. So I'm gonna use three pounds. I'm also gonna use three cans of evaporated milk. I think those were like 12 ounce cans, but it's the small cans. And I'm also gonna be using two brown eggs fresh out of our chicken coop. <laughs> I'm gonna be using some sour cream. This is the 16 ounce jar of sour cream. Now for the cheese, I have one eight ounce blocks of sharp cheddar cheese. I have two eight ounce blocks of Gouda cheese, so one pound of Gouda cheese. I am gonna use half a block of this Velveeta. I know how some people feel about Velveeta. If you don't like it, don't use it. I'm gonna go in with two pounds of Kobe Jack and Monterey cheese and two eight ounce packs of mild cheddar cheese. I already have my salted water going while my water was boiling. I went ahead and shredded my cheese and now I'm just adding in some avocado oil so that my noodles don't stick to each other. Now with my noodles, I like to cook them until they are al dente and boss man finally figured out the exact number. So for us and our stove, it is eight minutes exactly. All right, so our noodles are done. I went ahead and drained them and I did shock them with some cold water so that they'll stop cooking. I do not want macaroni and cheese that is mushy. Right here, I am adding in three tablespoons of butter. Now it's time to go ahead and season it. I'm gonna start off with some accent. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in really good. I'll be using Boss Man's Blend to season my noodles. I know you guys don't have it yet, <laughs> hopefully soon, but just go ahead and season it with some accent, adobo seasoning, um, garlic powder, or whatever seasonings you all like, but just don't go too heavy on the seasoning because you don't want your macaroni and cheese to be too salty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sour cream. Y'all, I love the way sour cream tastes in macaroni and cheese. To me, it just makes a big difference. I started out with half of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and add all of it, cause why not? Now I'm going in with that first can of evaporated milk and y'all know the saying, lazy man works the hardest. Y'all, I should have just went on the truck and got the big can opener, but I didn't feel like it. So now I'm stuck with this little hole in my <laughs> can. <laughs> I went ahead and added that first can and now I am going to add in my Velveeta cheese and this was half of the block of Velveeta cheese. I just cubed it up. Now it's time to start adding in the shredded cheese. So over here I have my Kobe and Monterey. I have the Gouda in the middle and the mild and sharp cheddar together. I am gonna go ahead and add in all of the mild and sharp and that Gouda cheese. Now that I have the cheese mixed in, I am going in with the entire second can of evaporated milk. 
Y'all, I don't know what I was doing with this little spoon, but this little spoon was wearing my arms out. So I had to go ahead and get my heavy duty spoon like I should have had from the beginning. But of course I had to get all my cheese off of it first. No cheese left behind. Now is the time for you to go ahead and taste test your macaroni and cheese, see what it needs, see what it does not need, and make any alterations before you add in your egg mixture. So I am going in with half of the third can of evaporated milk and the other half, well, it was about three fourths. So I'm gonna add the rest of that milk to my eggs. I'm gonna mix it up really well and go ahead and add it to my macaroni and cheese. Now I do it this way because I don't wanna risk having scrambled eggs in my macaroni and cheese. That's another reason why I go ahead and shock my noodles so that they'll stop cooking, so that it's not too hot and I don't end up with scrambled eggs in my macaroni and cheese. Now I'm gonna mix, 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 and make sure everything is well combined. So for some reason, I thought I could have a half pan of macaroni and cheese, but clearly it was way too much. So I went ahead and put it inside a full size pan. You guys, I know this macaroni and cheese look dry. And she looked thick, cause she is, she's super thick. But I promise you, just follow me. It looked dry, but it's not gonna come out dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover the macaroni and cheese with the Kobe Jack and Monterey cheese. And I like to clean down my edges as I go because y'all know presentation is everything and I do not like to have uh, cheese all on the side of the pan. So I cover my noodles. I do not like to see any noodles. I make sure the entire thing is covered. Now I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with some smoked paprika. I love the look of the smoked paprika. I do know some people top theirs with um, pepper, but I'm going in with smoked paprika. And I am going to place this in the oven, uncovered on 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. So I apologize in advance, but I do not know what happened on this clip. I am so sorry about the angle. Hopefully the end product will make up for it. I told y'all to trust me, this macaroni and cheese came out amazing. It was extra cheesy and it was not dry at all. Now, if you want it creamier, you can omit the egg mixture and it'll be super creamy. This can also be achieved by making a roux. That's how I normally make the macaroni and cheese, especially if we're doing catering or on the truck. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it like that. As always, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to talk to us down in the comments because you know we are gonna talk back.